And now, here's Derek Schnarr and Van Stout. Hey, Derek, you ready to go? Where is Van at? Well, isn't that the greatest question ever? Where is Van? Really? You're asking me that question? Guess what? He lost a bet. He thinks he's picking the range right now, but gentlemen, it is target practice! Woo-hoo-hoo! Man, I'll tell you. All right, let's line him up. He's moving out there. Now he knows what's coming. Oh, look at him. He's starting to kind of swirl around out there a little bit. Little does he know that I didn't put a lot of gas in that thing. Pacheco when you need him, but he's a believer. He's a cut man. I'm, look, I'm all here. I'm intact. Hey, welcome back to T to Green. Show number three. Get back in the there, document. man. I want more chances. No, 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 no. You had your, you're out of bullets now. Oh, man. You fired all your chambers. I'm telling you. Whew. Boy, I didn't realize I was it was working up much. the lather, man. I saw that other well, melon either, in there. I was like, let's either put some lumps that on it. or I was worried about the gas asphyxiation. I was starting to get lightheaded, which is kind of strange for me. I heard you kind of do that. Well, <laughs> that's that's Le Natural gas. Okay, okay I got we don't it, need I to got go it, there. I got it. All right, so we're back for Tita Green. Yet another episode. This is number three. I can't believe they haven't canceled the show yet. <laughs> Just like Ole Miss math, what comes after two and is before four? Number Five. three. Oh, number three. three. Speaking of trees, three. got you know, it. Oh, we had one go down. Timber! <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's all we missed. But we got a good show this week. I think we got a good I show. I think so. A day in the life of a college golfer, Johnny Decker, at the U. Yeah, I wouldn't know anything about it, but it sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of missed that part of your life, okay? Well, was... I was there, and I was there, and I was out, I was there, and, you know, I don't know if anybody else knew I was there. <laughs> Riders on the Storm or <laughs> yeah. something like that, okay? Something and like then, that. Las Vegas, you know, Sin Capital, USA. We were out there in early March. Uh, for the first big tournament for the Wisconsin PGA. We had a lot of fun. Uh, Mr. Stadler, they put on a great tournament. We had a chance to talk to him about the organization of this tournament, the guts of the tournament. Yep. And then when you're in Vegas, you're supposed to have fun both on the links and off the links. Nobody plays war like you, brother. Thank God. <laughs> I didn't <laughs> they, even know there was a war table. Do, exactly, okay. And you know what? We. We had a top 10 finish. We did, baby, top seven. I mean, unbelievable. Woo-hoo! Lucky number seven. Next year, look out. Look out. If we can get a certain mooker to play, you well, know. not everybody has a mooker. Uh, well, that's true. <laughs> he, he can't even play dead, but that's okay. Neither here nor there. And we've got a nice tip for this week. So we're trying to get your games better. we got a beautiful day here in Madison. So stay tuned. It's T to Green, number three. Uh, can I help you? Yeah. We are looking for a condo. We can do that. Clary builds lots of condos that you would like. (laughs) Very funny, tall man. We are looking for a condo for our Porsche. I'm sure you can't do that. Actually, we can do that. Well, what do you think? Don't shame, tall man. Now our Porsche is very happy. Hey, Travis, great day at the Oaks. Nice round. Yes. What have you got whipped up for us? Yeah, I got you whipped up a nice Summershine Lemon and Mint Whiskey Lemonade. Mm-hmm. And myself, I got a John Daly uh, Summershine. Great way to get on parks. Yeah, absolutely. Cheers. You can find it at your local golf course or your local liquor store. For more recipes, you can visit summershine.com. Have you dreamt of playing up 18 at Pebble Beach? or sticking one close on 17 at TPC Sawgrass. How about experiencing where golf all began at historic St. Andrews? Certified Yummy Golf can make those dreams a reality. They'll plan your group's next golf getaway and worry about all the details, flight, lodging, golf, meals, and everything in between. All you worry about is your golf game and what to order on the 19th hole. Visit certifiedyummy.com backslash golf to learn more. Hi, this is J.R. Smart. Every day, customers tell me what a truly exceptional experience it is buying from Smart Toyota. With our friendly staff, 
and all the little extras you won't find anywhere else. We also understand the importance of being involved in and giving back to our community. And, of course, we have great deals, too. Visit SmartToyota.com for our latest deals, including special APR and lease offers on our award-winning Toyota and Scion lineup. Smart Toyota, Odana Road, Madison. T to Green is brought to you by University Ridge Golf Course, the first tee of South Central Wisconsin, Neckerman Insurance Services, Smart Motors, Cleary Building Corp, Summershine Lemon and Mint Whiskey, and by Certified Yummy Golf. really fortunate to be able to be a member at Nakoma my whole life. I uh, got molded by the, the country club lifestyle and uh, got brought into a great bunch of guys. Um, Dad brought me under his wing, taught me uh, how to play golf, and met a lot of really great people. Um, so I'm honored, honored to be able to stay in town and play for the University of Wisconsin here. Uh, it's, it's, really, it's a really great honor. And uh, getting to play with the guys, I learned a lot. You know, learn how to handle business just like anywhere else. It's a, it's a golf is a business game, and crack jokes, and you learn how to be respectful to elders, and have a good time. And that's that's what means the most to me for golf. Competition's great, it's fun, but the whole the whole aspect of it being a, a it's a people sport, and that's that's who I am. I'm a people person, so it's a good time. Love it. A uh, typical day, wake up. 6 o'clock-ish, 6.15, uh, go to workouts. Uh, those are a couple days a week, two to three days a week, uh, just as a team, do more individually. And then uh, those go until about 8 o'clock. Right after that, we have breakfast. Right after breakfast, I come back to my apartment, take a quick shower, have probably some more breakfast. Uh, make sure I have nothing else to do for the day, homework-wise, go to class. Um, class usually goes until 2 or 3 o'clock, right after class, gotta rush to the course. Um, if it's nice enough out to play golf, uh, we're in golf clothes all day. Um, then after practice, we have a quick team meeting. Um, that goes, we'll probably be done around 6 o'clock. Uh, after that, drive back here, it's about a 25 minute drive. Go to the library until about 11 maybe later depending on if you have a final <laughs> and uh, then repeat get as much sleep as you can don't tend to get a lot uh, days off I sometimes will sit back with one of my roommates uh, Connor and Jack and we'll uh, play some Xbox and uh, hang out with some friends do whatever eat sleep catch up on that Traveling, uh, the usual tournament is on a, either Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, or Monday, Tuesday. Um, so we'll leave, sometimes we'll leave Thursday night, sometimes Friday, and we'll get there practice round. So we're already missing some class Thursday and Friday. Um, and then we miss all of the weekend, so miss a lot of the fun with our friends, which is, I mean, that's something you have to give up. You have to know you're going to give that up as a college athlete. But then you miss Monday, Tuesday, and sometimes we've, we this week, this spring, we've had five weeks in a row of that, uh, mostly, and it's hard. It's definitely hard, uh, but that's what our great academic program here is, and they have great tutors and help us out a lot. So it's you can balance it, but it's you got to stay on top of things. It's easier to get ahead of things than climb your way out of the hole. I'd say a lot of the kids don't really realize how much physical. Um, work it is, how much we work out, how much we train. Um, I get the question, you know, why you're a golfer, why do you work out, why do you lift? And you look at the PGA Tour these days and it's changed a lot in the last 20 years, uh, mostly due to Tiger Woods um, coming in and just becoming more physically fit than everybody. And uh, it clearly helps. I mean, you hit it further, you hit it more consistent, it's easier to play in the wind. So 
I think that's what people don't realize is how much we train. The University Ridge built this uh, great facility roughly five years ago, uh, just before Coach Burson got here uh, from South Carolina. And we utilize it every day as much as possible. It's a, it's a place for the team to come and, and hang out and get better. And so we use the great study room and uh, try to utilize that as much as possible for our grades. Uh, behind a leader, Eddie White on the team, great student, and uh, I try to exemplify that to my peers and teammates as well. And then uh, we have the awesome uh, lounge area with the big screen TV and some couches. You can hang out, watch some basketball or sporting events, cheer on the Badgers as much as possible, and uh, be a team, you know, team camaraderie and get to know each other even better. And then uh, we come down to the practice green, putting green, chipping green, and the driving range and, and get to work and get better every day. Here it's AstroTurf, so it's a bit of a change going from there to grass. Um, but you can still hit every single same shot. The, the high flops, which you don't really use much in the rounds, uh, they, those are limited here. Not much room underneath the, underneath the ball to swipe underneath it. Um, but you still can hit all sorts of chip shots, every putt possible. I think it's 54 feet corner to corner, so hopefully you don't have too many longer than that in the, in the round. But uh, we do a couple workouts out here, more lighter weight, um, higher reps, a lot of legs and balance and core. Um, so Coach uh, is a very healthy guy who studies these, uh, these workouts and we do a bunch of core exercises that are related to golf. So twisting and, and throwing balls and exploding out of, out of certain situations and uh, lunges there and back with weights and, and it's really good. I mean, your heart rate gets going and, uh, and to top it all off, when you're, when you're in a bit of trouble or punishment for making a double bogey or say you lose a, lose a match out here, you have to do these things called gate runs. And gate runs are from this facility here all the way down to the front gate. That's about 0.8 miles and then back. And uh, it's one for every double bogey you make during a tournament. And that can add up quickly, let me tell you. <laughs> it, it's, a, it's a pain. It can be tough. So. Growing up in this town has shown me many great examples of Wisconsin student athletes. I am humbled to be able to join their title and will work to resemble all of what the University of Wisconsin stands for. There truly is no better honor than being able to wear the university colors and the Motion W in competition. I wouldn't be where I am today without the amount of support I have been thankful to have. I'd like to thank God for granting me the ability to just play this game. I'd like to thank my parents and siblings for supporting me throughout my entire life and golf career. I'd like to thank my many coaches I have had, especially the current coaches, Derek Schnarr, Coach Burson, and Coach Woodruff. And finally, thank you to my teammates for constantly being there for me in both the good and bad times. They are my new brothers and I couldn't ask for better ones. You have your crew and you have ours. They keep things exciting and we keep things safe. They've got your back and we've got the rest. Your Neckerman Insurance. Real people right here in the 608. Have you dreamt of playing up 18 at Pebble Beach or sticking one close on 17 at TPC Sawgrass? How about experiencing where golf all began at historic St. Andrews? Certified Yummy Golf can make those dreams a reality. They'll plan your group's next golf getaway and worry about all the details, flight, lodging, golf, meals, and everything in between. All you worry about is your golf game and what to order on the 19th hole. Visit certifiedyummy.com backslash golf to learn more. Next on West One, we have... Looking for a game? Now you can join Sherry Steinhauer, Jerry Kelly, Andy North, and Steve Stricker and become part of the Champions Club of the First Tee of South Central Wisconsin. Go to thefirstteescw.org or ask about us at your favorite golf club. Join Sherry, Jerry, Andy, and Strick in the Champions Club. I'm Sherry Steinhauer. Join me and support the First Tee of South Central Wisconsin. You're up. Hi, this is J.R. Smart. Every day, customers tell me what a truly exceptional experience it is buying from Smart Toyota with our friendly staff and all the little extras you won't find anywhere else. We also understand the importance of being involved in and giving back to our community. And of course, we have great deals too. Visit SmartToyota.com for our latest deals, including special APR and lease offers on our award-winning Toyota and Scion lineup. Smart Toyota, Odana Road, Madison. <laughs> 
Welcome back to Tea to Green. I'm Van Stout and <laughs> this is Christmas morning to me. I've just lost about a 185 pound weight jacket. He gone, Derek Sharp, I don't know. Must have been a bathroom break, but that's okay. We don't really need him. I don't really need him, but let's show him love. We do need him, but just not for this particular segment. Enough rambling on. We're gonna have a chance now to talk to Joe Stadler with the Wisconsin PGA. It's one of the biggest outings and events of the year on the Wisconsin PGA calendar, and it commences their season for 2016. It's the extravaganza in Las Vegas, and we talked to Joe about a lot of the, the inner parts of putting this together, and hopefully you'll find it as interesting as we did. First and foremost, what does the executive director of the Wisconsin PGA actually do? Well, we're a member association. 500 PGA professionals around the state of Wisconsin working at golf courses, ranges, um, stores, things of that nature. And we run events, uh, education seminars, we work with employment, so when a facility is looking for a professional, we'll go in and help them find the right person for the job. How long have you been doing this and, you know, is this your life calling, I guess? I hope so. I've been doing it for 22 years as executive director. I've been in the golf business for closer to 30, so yeah, I love it. It's been great. How has the association grown since you've been here? Well, the game of golf has really grown. I know it's a little stagnant right now, but over the past 25 years, it's much bigger. Uh, the business has changed. It's a little more corporate than it was 25 years ago, that's for sure, like the rest of the world. Uh, golf managed to keep up with that, so it's probably the biggest changes. I think the role of the golf professional is evolving, um, almost a little bit back to where it was 20 years ago, where mm -hmm. we're more focused on teaching again and getting more people into the game. And back in the late 90s, early 2000s, we were pretty much just running businesses. For this tournament here in Vegas, how much of an undertaking is it to get this organized? Uh, you know, you've had your ups and downs where attendance has been low. Uh, it seems like you're back. Uh, where do you want to be right now? I think we're at a perfect place right now. 48 teams, 240 participants is perfect. We've been over 300 before, but when I started, we had about 120. Uh, we pe peaked out about eight years ago and did go down to about 170. So this is much better. We have two full courses each day. Undertaking wise, it's quite a bit of work. You know, while we're here, we start working on next year. Uh, Chris Hole, our director of operations, performs most of the duties getting ready for the event, and it's a big part of his winter. You talked about getting ready for next year already now as you're scouting other courses, other venues, and what have you, but in terms of just trying to get everything to roll smoothly, barring any unforeseen uh, mother nature curves or what have you, I mean, it's what has been the feedback, I guess, the last five plus years about how guys are liking this? And obviously, they must be liking because they're continuing to sign up. They are. I think the feedback overall is very positive. You know, we try to switch courses every two or three years so they don't get stagnant. Mm -hmm. uh, same thing with hotels. I think that's helped. We've definitely upgraded the courses we've played over the last five years, and I think that's been a big reason for the momentum we have right now. There's something about Vegas, but this is your premier event, at least at the outset of 2016 and every year uh, that you've been involved with this. But uh, what is it about this venue that uh, seems to attract people? I think it's a kickoff to the season is part of it. Vegas is part of it. Good golf is part of it. Every other year we get good weather, um, <laughs> but even bad weather is not you know, too bad usually unless it's crazy windy. But uh, I think that's it. I think people are just ready to go. So this kind of jump starts the year right before the Masters. When you think about the undertaking for next year and you're talking about already planning things like that, uh, what, what, what does that process entail? Well, the first step is to secure a hotel. Um, Prices keep going up, so we try to keep the, the whole trip affordable, but um, it's difficult. We've got a couple contacts out here that a network at a bunch of hotels, so that helps. Uh, and then right after that, we start working on golf courses. So I hope in the next month, we'll have a hotel booked and all three golf courses booked and ready to go. When you consider the venues or the courses, you try to go like A, B, C, or one, two, three, if you will? We did that for a couple years this year. I think we tried to go more, probably A minus across the board. Okay. Um, and I think that, might be a little reason for a few more people being here. Um, the tough part is if you go to the A course, you know, you can be talking $500 for one round of golf, and that just doesn't fit what we're doing. Mm -hmm. So we try to stick into more like the 200 around, and it seems to work out well. One final question as you look into your crystal ball. Do you see this event continuing to, to, to top off, so to speak? 
I hope so. The biggest thing that we need to do is get our younger professionals involved, and there are a few more of them here this year. Um, you know, I've been doing this a long time, and there's some gentlemen here that have been going on this trip since it started in the mid-80s, and somebody needs to replace them. So I think that's the key for us. Thank you very much, Joe. It was quite a treat to get some of the inside information in regards to the 2016 version, and I can tell you firsthand, we at Blackhawk are waiting uh, anxiously for 2017 and beyond. Now, on with the show. We're going to talk to you about uh, how to, or how not to, hit a sand shot. I'm going to brave the elements and go into the sands of Iwo Jima and show you what not to do. And then we've got Ryan Weemy who's going to come along and show you really how to do it. It's tee to green, so stay tuned. All buildings are not created equal. With Clary, the sky's the limit. We can customize and create anything you can imagine. From exclusive high clearance truss technology to state of the art office space and even storage for your toys. One thing has not changed in 36 years and that's our customer service. We treat you like family because we want our relationship to last a lifetime. Visit the theallnewclarybuilding.com to see thousands of options today. We've been around 30 years. I was raised in this business. I, I want this business to be here when I have kids someday. And this is a uh, something we actually love doing, so we want to see it succeed. Insurance is a big part of that picture. You have to have people that you trust, so somebody that is, is there and understands your business, like Neckerman, is a huge relief. It makes um, focusing on part of our, of our business a lot easier and not have to have that weight on our shoulders. Hey, Travis, great day at the Oaks, nice round. Yes. What have you got whipped up for us? Yeah, I got you whipped up a nice Summershine Lemon and Mint Whiskey Lemonade. Mm -hmm. And myself, I got a John Daly uh, Summershine. Great way to get on parks. Yeah, absolutely. Cheers. You can find it at your local golf course or your local liquor store. For more recipes, you can visit summershine.com. The University of Wisconsin Golf Course, University Ridge, has been voted Best of Madison and is the proud host site of the PGA Tour Champions American Family Championship. Our course, designed by the world-renowned Robert Trent Jones Jr., is yours to play without a costly membership. The award-winning golf shop at University Ridge offers high-end badger apparel you won't find anywhere else. And when you're off the course, enjoy excellent food and drink with friends at the W Grill. Play where the Badgers play, University Ridge. I can. I've seen you in there before. Oh, come on. Holy come on. cow. Are you down to the clay yet? I'm getting tired, I can tell you that. <laughs> All right. This is the last one, okay? This is, this is going to be perfect. Get, get him, player. Get him, laddie. Oh, come on. <laughs> Jeez, that, that was not good. Oh. There you go. Nice job, buddy. Hey, all right. Way to go. What are you putting for? 13. 13? So mine's good? I'm not sure where that falls into the eight-point game, my friend. This weekly pro tip is brought to you by University Ridge Golf Course. Thanks, Van, for showing us your way to get out of a bunker. Now let's learn how to do it the right way. Hi, my name is Ryan Weemy. I'm the head golf professional at University Ridge. I'm stuck in one of the 16 bunkers on the 16th hole at University Ridge, and I got to get out on a greenside bunker shot. The way we try to do this, and, and the way to get out the best, is on a greenside bunker shot, we're trying to hit the sand first. On any of the fairway bunker shots, typically we're trying to actually get out by hitting the ball first. So when we take our stance for this shot, we need to set up with the club face slightly open to make sure that we slide the club underneath the ball. So when I set up, I take my stance and play the ball position towards my front left foot, set the club up open, and remember, out of a bunker, I can't actually touch the sand with the club. I have to actually hover the, cl the club above the sand. Now the mistake I see most amateurs make in this situation is their takeaway. The takeaway that they take the club back with. When they take the club back, a lot of them either take the club back low 
take the club back too far inside. By doing that, you're making too shallow of a plane into the ball, and often you'll lead to a sculled shot or a fat shot. So in this case, we want to take the club back very steep, coming up and down on the ball. If I do that, I'm able to drive my hands into the sand or drive the club into the sand about two inches behind the ball. The sand then moves the ball up in the air. Get into that open stance is the key, and then the takeaway coming up and then down into the sand. The other big mistake I see out of the bunkers is people simply don't finish the swing. To hit through sand is a lot harder to hit through than hitting through grass. You need more club velocity to get through the sand than you do the grass. So in, in turn, we actually need a bigger swing, a swing that finishes to our left-hand side. So in this swing, I'm going to try to take a nice steep takeaway, come down into the sand, and finish on my left with authority. The distance to the flag stick is only about 15 to 20 yards but I still need a swing that's gonna give me that distance through the sand. Here I go. <clears throat> Thanks, hope you don't get in too many bunkers, but if you do, this is a good method to try to get out. Wait a minute now. Okay, we got show three in the book, but Hollywood, what's the deal? Is Elvis left the building? Well, it's a little sunny out here on this beautiful patio oh. here at Blackhawk Country Club, but you know, quite frankly, it's, uh, I, I, it's getting harder and harder for me to look at you. And I know we're only That's in... what my wife says, too. <laughs> well, I know how she feels. i got to be honest with you, man. It's kind of painful. I can't concentrate. Okay, so you know what we've done for the last three shows, but now looking into our crystal ball, Ooh. into the future, <laughs> oracular powers. Hey, we got some neat things coming up. Okay, you talk about product development. Steve Plock, Matt Flatten, TaylorMade, and Adidas. They're really hip to what's going on and what's coming up for the next couple of months. Yeah, and you know, a couple of months ago we had the PGA Merchandise Show. Golf Digest comes out with the hot list, and these guys are at the top. You know, Adidas has got the shoes with Matt Flat and Steve plock has got, you know, the, the tailor-made equipment, the M1 driver it dominating out there on the PGA Tour. So they'll, they'll be here to tell us a little bit about what's going on, and we'll see what happens with those boys. You mentioned product development. One of the guys, one of the best guys, and he's a local, local guy from Madison, Wisconsin, Sean Toulon. Yeah, a lot of people don't know about Sean. I think I've done a pretty good job of hopefully getting people to know about mm -hmm. him a little bit more. But he is probably the most sought-after club designer in the industry. And he's, you know, left tailor-made because he had something that he had to get done. Started a putter company called Toulon Design with he and his sons. And I'll tell you what, it's taken off. They got guys out there. They're not, you know, paying any money. And they're playing this putter out there. Can you putt from 50 yards with it? Uh, we've got something in development. I'm okay. talking about it. I think it's called the Stout. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's promising to be electric. And then in addition to that now, we're going to talk to the Sherry Steinhauers. We're going to talk to the Andy Norris, the yeah. Jerry Kellys, the Steve Strickers. But we've got a lot of other unique things that we're going to do that are hopefully going to bring you behind the scenes of our show. And speaking of our show and in the future as we look into that crystal ball, hey, we want you, the viewers, to respond via to T to Green TV, both on Twitter and Facebook. You know, if we're terrible at this, we want to know. If you got questions mm, for us, yeah. post Speak them Speak for there yourself. We'll, try to, well, I think most of it's going to come in your direction. <laughs> Thank you anyway, very much. I, I got thick skin on a lot of it, as you can see. You know, one of the things that's really happening around Blackhawk right now is there is a small army assembling with these two unders. I mean, this is a product right now that I'll tell you, if you're out there on a hot day, right, you run into the bathroom, maybe there's no baby powder, this two under underwear has got something going on right now. We got a lot of people, they don't want to give us their names, but they're wearing the underwear, and I'm telling you. All I will say is, it takes a lot to give me great support. Yes. Great support. Fantastic nothing, stuff. Nothing else needs to be said. So it's not just on the equipment side. We're going to try to touch, you know, different. Zero restriction. How do you, don't what, don't what, play the touch me game, oh, okay? Sorry, okay. My bad, my bad. Wrong choice of words. But, you know, if somebody happens to fall into a pond, can, you know, the water-resistant uh, stuff hold up to it? You know, where are we at? With I have like some that? floatables, okay? okay. So you that's that's that right. that's all we need to say. Okay, hey, we put you through enough pain and torture as it is. That's show number three. We look forward to seeing you next Saturday on T to Green. T to Green has been brought to you by University Ridge Golf Course, the first tee of South Central Wisconsin, Neckerman Insurance Services, Smart Motors, Cleary Building Corp, Summershine Lemon and Mint Whiskey, and by Certified Yummy Golf.